Lock your doors. That's the message Albuquerque police are sending out. Whether you park your car at Balloon Fiesta or nearby, or if you have loved ones staying at a hotel, police say thieves are out there trying to take advantage. News 13's David Romero is live with the details this morning. Hey, David. Hey there, Elizabeth. Well, it's almost a common sense reaction to lock up your valuables when they're in your car, but police say it's best not to take any chances and give thieves a green light to break in. Now, things have been pretty quiet since the start of Balloon Fiesta this year, and that's also about the time the APD has to step up their efforts to watch out for thieves because of the influx of a lot of vehicles here in town. Now, the department says that this is the time of year they see those spikes and burglaries. They're also warning guests or anybody driving by hotels to be vigilant and watch out for suspicious people looking into car windows. The same goes for double checking that all the doors are locked. If a criminal is going to choose between two vehicles to break into and one has nothing inside and the other one has uh, an elect some electronics or a purse that may look like it, a bag that may look like it has um, cash or other valuables in it, any kind of backpacks, those kind of types of things are going to lure them. They're going to be more attractive to criminals uh, as opposed to a vehicle that doesn't seem to have anything offhand that they can take of value. Now coming up in about 30 minutes, we're going to tell you what APD is doing to nip these thieves efforts in the bud. Elizabeth, back to you. All right, David, good to know. Thank you. And folks, remember that Balloon Fiesta festivities run through Sunday, so there's definitely going to be more crowds and more people in the Albuquerque area all week. A New Mexico state senator is calling for the governor to fire her chief of staff over some allegations being made against him. But Governor Susana Martinez is firing back, saying these calls to get rid of Keith Gardner are petty and politically motivated. I completely support Keith, and I think this is nothing but politics. It is politics at its worst. A secretly recorded conversation that was released last month reveals Gardner saying some ugly things about lawmakers. There's also surveillance video that has recently surfaced showing an encounter Gardner had with a woman who now alleges that she was threatened by him. The governor says these allegations and accusations are coming out during election time. She says that is no coincidence. Albuquerque police want to warn you about a dangerous suspect who is on the loose right now. Detectives say 32 year old Aaron James severely beat his girlfriend and they believe he is ready and willing to kill her if given the opportunity. He has a history of domestic violence. In 2008, he was arrested for stalking his estranged wife. We have learned the man shot, shot dead in the South Valley this week is the son of a state lawmaker, 45-year-old Ralph Chavez, and another man were both shot while inside of a house on La Vega Drive. Deputies say Chavez is the son of state rep Ernest Chavez. They say his son was shot multiple times and died. The other man involved was wounded but is expected to be okay. Detectives are not saying if the two men shot at each other or if someone else was involved. Police say the man, last seen with a Tucumcari missing woman, now admits that he was involved in her death. Cops say it was Frank Keller who led them to Kimberly Drowman's body last Friday. She vanished in mid-September. A few days later, police say Keller was caught in Nevada driving her car. Now, he has not yet been charged with her death, but state police say charges are coming. An Albuquerque animal welfare worker is under investigation for leaving a dog in a city van for two days. Officials with the Animal Welfare Department say one of its employees left the dog in a shuttle van that brings pets to a shelter for surgery. They say a volunteer found the dog in the van two days later. Here's what the kennel supervisor told us. It's not typical that this happens. It's very rare that an animal is actually left behind on a van. We're told the dog was dehydrated but is otherwise okay. Because the investigation is ongoing, animal welfare employees say they will not release the worker's name just yet. The New Mexico State Board of Regents plans to hold a special session this morning to talk about the employment contract of whoever will end up being interim president. As we've reported, former President Barbara Couture recently resigned. Right now, day-to-day -day business at NMSU continues under the direction of each unit vice president or college dean. Executive Vice President Wendy Wilkins is serving as the chief administrative officer until the interim president is named. First Lady Michelle Obama will be in Durango today speaking to college students. She will be at Fort Lewis College. Students and grassroots supporters plan to be on hand. The First Lady will be promoting early voting, which starts on October 22nd in Colorado. Early voting started yesterday here in New Mexico. This event is free and open to the public, but tickets are required.
And of course, we have posted where you can pick up some of those tickets at our website. Just head over to krqe.com and head to news blogs.